Okay, in this problem we're given f of x is the square root of 2x minus 5 and we're told to find the derivative of f inverse at x equals 1. I'm going to do this algebraically. So let's rewrite the function here with this notation. y is the square root of 2x minus 5 and we'll find the inverse of our original function by switching x and y. So we write x is the square root of 2y minus 5 and then we solve this for y. So to solve this for y we square both sides. We get x squared is 2y minus 5. Then just add 5 to each side. x squared plus 5 is 2y and then divide both sides by 2. So y is x squared plus 5 over 2. And we want to take the derivative of that. This is f inverse right here. and we're trying to find the derivative of f inverse at x equals 1. So I'm going to come up here where I have a little bit more room and find y primed. And y primed is not too hard. Think of this 2 in the denominator as just a constant multiplier of 1 half which sticks around when we take the derivative and then we just have 1 half times the derivative of x squared plus 5. So the derivative of x squared is 2x and then the derivative of 5 is 0, so we don't write 2x plus 0, we just write 2x. And the 2's cancel, so this is really simple. y prime is just equal to x. And now what we have found is the derivative of f inverse. So our answer is really simple. y prime of 1, that's what we're looking for, at x equals 1, is just going to be 1. And we're done. Okay, next problem, f of x is the cube root of x squared minus 4. Find the derivative of f inverse at, whoops, at this x value, cube root of 5. Okay, we'll do this algebraically also. Rewrite this function, y is the cube root of x squared minus 4 then switch the x and y's so x is the cube root of y squared minus 4 and then solve that for y so to solve that for y we need to cube both sides x cubed is y squared minus 4 then add 4 to each side x cubed plus 4 is y squared and then we square root both sides and I'm going to put my y over here. y will be the square root of this and I'm going to write it with this notation. x cubed plus 4 to the 1 half. What we have just found is the inverse of our original function. So I need to find the derivative of f inverse and then evaluate it at this particular value of x. So I'll come up here where I have a little bit more room and I'm going to take this function which is f inverse and find its derivative. So y primed, what will that be? Well, let's apply the power rule and the chain rule. So we have 1 half x cubed plus 4 to the negative 1 half times the derivative of the inner function which is 3x squared. And now we need to just find what that evaluates to when we plug in the cube root of 5 for x right there and there. So y primed of the cube root of 5 will be 1 half. Now look at this. The cube root of 5 cubed will just be 5. So this is 5 plus 4 to the negative 1 half and that will work out fairly easily. And then we have 3 times x squared and x is the cube root of 5 so this is 3 times the cube root of 5 squared. Okay so this is 1 half this is 9 obviously 9 to the negative 1 half times 3 times this doesn't simplify nicely but this does the 9 to the negative 1 half that's uh, 1 over 9 to the positive 1 half or 1 over the square root of 9 which is just 1 third so this is 
one half. This right here is one third times three times the cube root. I'm going to write this as the cube root of 25. We can just square that five. And then these threes cancel out. And we have an, our answer in simplified form. The cube root of 25 over 2. So that is the derivative of the inverse of this at that value of x.